Now imagine that you were granted one wish to spend a day with someone that you admire, living or dead, who's successful and could be a personal mentor to you. Now imagine you could adopt a mentor to guide you on your journey in business or health or marriage. But what if I told you that you could have access to the wisdom of some of the most successful minds in history just by reading a book? Hey everyone, it's Kevin here from Meek Media. Today I want to talk to you about the power of adopting a mentor. A mentor is someone who teaches, who gives help and advice to a less experienced person. Now you might be thinking, I don't have time to find a mentor, let alone spend hours with them each week. But here's the thing, you don't have to. You can learn a ton from successful people by reading their books. In fact, I believe that reading is one of the best ways to find a mentor. Now, quick edit here. I refer to reading books, but this can also be done through listening to audiobooks podcasts, watching YouTube videos. Well, when you read a book by someone you admire, you're essentially getting a one-on-one lesson with them. You're learning about their work ethic, their outlook on life, their business strategies, their best practices, and so much more. You're getting access to their thoughts, experiences, and insights. You gain a new perspective. Uh, This can expose you to new ideas and ways of thinking that can help you break out of your comfort zone and grow you as a person and your business. You can learn from their mistakes. Mentors have been there and done that so they can share their hard-earned lessons with you. This can save you a lot of time and heartache. You can get motivated and inspired. Mentors can be a great source of motivation and inspiration. They can help you believe in yourself and your goals. You can set yourself up for success. According to a study by Thomas C. Corley, the average CEO reads about 50 books Per year. So if the chief executives who are running companies are spending so much time in books, there's probably wealth and reason for them doing that. Reading will help you to become more creative and innovative and improve your vocabulary. For example, if you're interested in learning about business mindset, you can read books about Elon Musk and Patrice Mazzepe. And if you're interested in politics and history, I would highly recommend reading A Long Walk to Freedom just to get a bit of the mindset Um, an understanding of Delta Mandela and the challenges that he had to face in overcoming all of the obstacles that he had. The great thing about reading is that you can do it on your own time. You can read books at home while you're traveling, even on vacation. You can reread books as many times as you want, so you can really absorb that information. Now, there's a growing body of research that suggests that reading can lead to success. For example, a study by the National Endowment for the Arts in the US found that adults who read regularly are more likely to be employed have higher earnings, volunteer more, be happier, and healthier. If you're looking to be more successful, reading is a great place to start. Make a commitment to read at least 20 minutes a day and you'll be on your way to achieving your goals. So think of it like this. The average book on Audible is around four hours long. And if you listen for 20 minutes a day, it means that you would finish a book in 12 days. That's less than two and a half work weeks. Conservatively, if you assume that there's 50 work weeks per year, That's 20 books that you would have read over the course of a year. But here's the thing, just reading a book isn't enough. You need to take action on what you learn. Be prepared to put in the work. Reading a book is just the first step. You need to take the time to apply what you learn. So as you're reading, make notes of the things that you find most interesting and helpful, and then start putting those things into practice. For example, if you're reading a book about business strategy, you might learn about the importance of setting goals. So you actually need to start setting some goals for your business. The more you take action on what you learn, the more you'll get out of reading. And the more you get out of reading, the more successful you can be. So as I'm reading through a book, I'm making highlights of the important sections and things that stand out for me. So at the end of every chapter that I'm reading, I'm making a summary of all of the important points that I found in that chapter, as well as one action item that I can actually take action on from that chapter. Books are accessible and free if you have a public library. If you don't like reading or you're on the move, you can have an Audible account and they allow you to get your first book for free. So you can actually start that and be listening to the book instead of reading it. There's no excuse for you not to start reading. Even after a long day um, where I find that I don't have time, just putting in five minutes before I go to sleep to open up a book and to start reading a bit through it. Um, not only helps me to actually get some uh, insight and, and get something done for the day, 
it also helps me i find to to fall asleep to actually be reading something i find that i sleep a lot better and i get easier to sleep after reading five ten minutes before bed instead of scrolling through my phone or trying to just go straight to bed and try to get my mind to settle so if you're serious about taking yourself and your business to the next level i encourage you to adopt a mentor through reading it's one of the best investments you can make in your future if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below if you're looking for some suggestions for mentors to adopt through books <laughs> check out the list of books i've included in the description below so thank you for watching till the next one cheers